Hey everybody, welcome to PBM Spinning Entertainment and welcome back to another episode of Thomas and Friends Import Reviews and we're going to be talking about another complete season release and that is the complete season 5. So without further ado, let's jump into the history of the complete season 5. So season 5 of Thomas and Friends first aired on television in September 1998 in the United Kingdom and September 1999 on Storytime with Thomas in the United States on the Fox Family Channel. It had 26 episodes narrated by Michael Angelis in the United Kingdom and Alec Baldwin in the United States. Then on June 3rd of 2002, VCI and Ghislaine re released the VHS copy of the complete season five, and you can get either the single VHS tape with all 26 episodes crammed on one tape, or the double tape version, which you get uh, 13 episodes each, the first half on one, the second half on the other. Now as for the DVD copy, the DVD copy was released in 2004 by VCI and Hit Entertainment in the Classic Collection box set before being released individually on February 5th of 2007. Then on July 18th of 2010, the Complete Season 5 was re-released on DVD by Hit Entertainment. And the Complete Season 5 was re-released on DVD on October 15th of 2012 by Hit Entertainment. And the Complete Season 5 can be found in the Complete Series 1-7 through 7 DVD box set and also in the Complete Seasons 1-11 through 11 DVD box set as well. Now, as for the Australian DVD release of the Complete Season 5, it was originally released back in September 7th of 2006 by ABC for Kids, and it could also be found in the 2-disc collection with Season 6, and it could also be found in the Seasons 1-5 through 5 DVD box set as well, and it could also be found in the Complete Seasons 1-10 through 10 DVD pack as well. And now we got the history out of the way, let's jump into my copy of the Complete Season 5. All right, so we will now plunge into the DVD copy of The Complete Season 5. This is the 2012 hit copy. So here we have Thomas and the background. It is from like the, uh, from when the background is like from the CGI series and stuff like that. It's kind of interesting. Well, this is a season from the, <coughs> excuse me, a season from the model era, of course. On top it says special edition over two hours of Thomas just like with the others it's in a white case Thomas friends logo the complete season 5 it says series 5 but I like to say season better than series since I live in the United States 26 exciting stories it's got a nice purple background and there's the UK rating classified U and rated G in Ireland New style hit logo, scrolling down here. Rick Buffalo Thomas. There's your UK and Ireland ratings. And the back, we've got Gordon, Henry, James, Percy, Edward, Toby, Cranky, and Stepney, and Rusty. Small blurb if you want to pause and read that. And this is a scene from, I believe, Thomas and the Storyteller, which kind of doesn't make any sense because that's not a season five episode, that's a season 11 episode. 26 exciting stories, DVDs region 2, and all that copy information right here, and that. Here's the disc, basically you squish out version of the poster art, and like I said it is region 2, so you'll need a region 2 DVD player, or a region free disc player, like I do. So anyways, now let's jump into the menu tour for the Complete Season 5. Alright, so here's the menu tour for the Complete Season 5 2012 release. So, we have Play All Stories, Episode Selection, and Subtitles On or Off. Let's go to Episode Selection, and there's no special features whatsoever, so bummer. Anyways, the episodes are Cranky Bugs, Ford Lori, A Better View for Gordon, Lady Hat's Birthday Party, James and the Trouble with... Trouble with Trees, Gordon and the Gremlin, by George, Ba, Put Upon Percy, Toby and the Flood, Heart of Henry, Double Teething Troubles, Stephanie Gets Lost, Toby's Discovery, Something in the Air, Thomas Percy and Old Slow Coach, Thomas and the Rumors, Oliver's Find, Happy Ever After, Sir Topham Hat's Holiday, a surprise for Percy. Make someone happy. Busy going backwards. 
Duncan gets spooked, Snow, and Rusty in the boulder. Well, I think uh, after Duncan gets spooked, it's supposed to be Rusty in the boulder and then Snow. Well, I heard Snow was put into production verse and then Rusty in the boulder. That's what I heard. But yeah, I think it's supposed to be Rusty in the boulder and then Snow. Anyways. And like I said, there's no special features whatsoever. But anyways, let's jump into my review and thoughts on the complete season five. So overall, do I recommend the complete season five? What kind of a question is that? I mean, of course I'll recommend the complete season five. Like, this is definitely one of the best Thomas and Friends seasons of all time. I think in the fandom, they would probably probably prefer five or three. I mean, I don't know. That's what I heard from most people in the fandom. They probably prefer five or five or three from the classic era. One of those two. But, uh, but yeah. So I think season five is definitely worth watching. Like, we, like I always thought this season was like pretty, it's pretty cinematic in my opinion because we get amazing music and the episodes are really amazing, of course. And the music, however, oh wait, I already mentioned the music. Sorry, Blah. I can't talk. Um, the uh, some of the scenes were in some episodes were were pretty suspenseful in my opinion like in cranky bugs resting the boulder and duncan gets spooked and uh, toby in the flood and a couple of other episodes that got suspenseful moments and stuff like that like as a kid i remember that one episode snow like uh, i remember for watching it, i thought it was like pretty pretty suspenseful because with like uh, you know the slate cars coming down the hill and and now piling on scar Lowy and also with the snow and stuff like that i thought it was pretty pretty suspenseful in my opinion i mean I'm, i mean i wasn't scared of course i mean i was thought wow like Britt allcroft they they really like nailed the uh, the crash scene and the avalanche scene like i thought they did an amazing job with that with that episode i think out of all the season five episodes i think snow and uh duncan gets spooked i think those are my two favorites in my opinion so overall i recommend you pick up season five and fun fact after season four, the Rev W. Audrey passed away somewhere around 1997, I think. So, when season five came around, Britt Allcroft, Britt Allcroft and her team, like, uh, they made their own, like, original episodes and made them more cinematic and suspenseful and stuff like that. And I thought they did a really amazing job with season five. But yeah, like I said, I recommend you pick up season five. But, do I prefer Alec Baldwin's narration or Michelangelo's narration? For me personally, I would say Alec Baldwin because, well, he is the narrator that I, that I grew up with when it comes to season five. I mean, I live in the United States, and of course, we got Alec Baldwin. And of course, in my opinion, even though Alec Baldwin's got mixed reviews from from some people in the fandom, like, I personally think Alec Baldwin's definitely one, one of the greatest narrators of all time for season five. And of course, uh, some people may not like Alec Baldwin's narration for season six, but I'll talk about more on that on season six. But season five, Alec Baldwin's narration is like, really amazing and it's perfect timing and stuff like that nothing wrong with michelangelo i mean michelangelo he's still good he's not bad he's a really great narrator of course for season five but hey if you love michelangelo then go ahead and pick up the complete season five for dvd or vhs but if you prefer alec baldwin's narration then just watch the complete season five on amazon prime and, and all that so that's going to do it for me, everybody, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.